and welcome to Granddad's Reviews. Today, sort of a bit different, not really a review, a bit of a comparison. This is my LG G6, and I've used this for a bit of vlogging and some of the actual reviews I've done uh, in the past on YouTube and I found the video quality of it be absolutely excellent and the ph photography was really excellent uh, but just recently because this is now two years old uh, my carrier mobile phone carrier uh, offered me a free upgrade and what did they offer me they offered me Google Pixel 3 XL and I thought, hmm, it's had some reasonably good reviews. Um, it's uh, had a few problems in the past, but it's been out for a while, had a few upgrades. So I thought what I'll do is come out and compare it to my LG. Now, straight off the bat, the first difference I've really noticed uh, as regards interface and everything is if I go into settings on mode on the LG, I've got manual video. So in manual video, I've got full control over aperture, shutter speed, ISO, focus, everything. Um, but on the Google Pixel, there's no manual controls at all. It's just straight on and away you go. Only thing is set is you want uh, high quality 4K 30s max, 4K 30s max on this one as well. So what I thought I'd do is, we'd do a bit of a vlog with the front camera on this one, a bit of a vlog with the front camera on this one, and then rear camera up and down the canal, we've got the swans out, and we'll see what we get. So let's do a, a comparison, let's uh, get these cameras set up. The LG G6 front camera in a bit of logging. Right around here is very extreme so this will give, should give it a good test. Um, the other thing that's good on this is actually you've got Zoom in and zoom out on the screen. Let's bring her out. So I do look a bit blown out. Let's see how it coats with a bit of shade. Let's do a couple of minutes. We'll walk down here. And we'll spin it around and we'll walk back up. This should go to test on that front camera and on its uh, stabilisation on that. And come around. So that's the front camera on the LG G6. So this is the front camera on the Google Pixel 3XL. Again, we've got two cameras. This is the wide angle setting. And we'll see how this copes with the uh, different lighting conditions and the stabilisation as we go from light to dark. And I'll walk down here into the light. And we'll come the other way. Good feature about uh, Pixel is I can actually meter from a specific spot on the screen. So I'm now metering on my face. So if I go to this dark patch here, the meter's better. Come back here. And there we do a pretty good job. Meter. 
So that's the front facing camera on the Google Pixel 3 XL. So now we'll do the rear cameras and see what we get. The G6 hasn't got image stabilization. We'll have a look in the dark bits. It's dark in here. We'll walk down here. Swans again, and the ducks. We're coming into the bright light. And can we zoom in on the swans with this one? And we head back. I'll look in some dark areas. See what how it copes. It should be a little bit more jumpy because I haven't got image stabilization on the G6. to a darker area and see how the exposure holds up and the low light capabilities are like. Then come back out and we'll zoom on that swan. Just have a walk down, see signets. So we've got a very bright area over here. We've got this swan hiding, we've got the signets. Walk up to the swans and the signet. And we'll walk back. And now we've got obviously the light in a different direction. Again, into some dark areas. We'll see what that comes out like. And we'll come back up to here. And it's a running film at Pro. Swans there, zoom in on the swans. Let's have a walk down with the GoPro, see what the GoPro does. That'll be change. Four K sixty. I'll just have a wander down, see what the GoPro comes up with.
and the swans. Let's go for it. Right. Not ultra exposed yet. There's the swans again. And all the little signets. So getting the uh, images and files back to the computer, I'm quite surprised at the results. I thought the LG was producing very good 4K video, uh, but compared to the Google Pixel 3 XL, um, it's not. Uh, quite a big jump. Uh, so obviously uh, a year in technology is, is quite a, a large leap. I'm quite impressed with the uh, Google Pixel 3 um, and I think I will be using it for some more blogging and some more uh, content creation. I uh, hope the video was uh, of interest here. If you want to give it a thumbs up, if not give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified of new videos coming up hit that bell button. Until next time, see you later.